The fifth question. <clears throat> How can I bring up my children to become useful for themselves? I'm referring to my son. Because of my age and difficult life, I do not have the energy to sing for him or to play with him. I'm happy that you want to bring up your child to be a loving being. This is perhaps the greatest profession on earth. The greatest profession on earth is a parent. It's becoming a loving parent and creating a loving human being. This is the greatest offering that we can offer to society. A being which loves himself or herself, which loves others and cares for others, which is secure enough to not play the various ego games that many people need to play, which is secure enough in order to deal with people honestly, clearly, to communicate honestly and clearly. Um, this is a great achievement. The main way in which children learn is by example. So if I want to create a being that's like this, I have to become a being that is like this. I have to work on my own self-acceptance, my own feelings of security, <clears throat> my own ability to love others as they are, to accept and to forgive myself and to forgive others. So the first aspect is to be what I would like my child to be. The second aspect is to share the various spiritual truths with my child that allow my child to realize that he is or she is a divine being in a temporary body, um, that there is no death, that he is loved or she is loved unconditionally by God or by the universal being or by all divine beings, that he or she deserves love as he or she is, um, that he or she knows within what he or she has been born to do, has incarnated to do, that all knowledge of what he or she needs is within, and that he or she should follow that inner voice, and that one of the main purposes of our lives is to serve others, to help others in some way, and that can be done in any way, from cleaning the streets to running a country. So there is no higher or lower profession. What is important is the profession for which that divine being has incarnated. So these are the ways to be ourselves what we want our child to become and to share these spiritual truths with the child. Also to teach the child some of the techniques that are available today, such as energy psychology, EFT, healing code, um, what I call inspired questions, uh, various means for that child to come into his or her center when they are feeling negatively. These are wonderful assets for any human being of any age, and children can employ them as of five years of age. Be well.